is a snack inspired by a love story. Hello, sharks. My name is Kendra Bennett. I'm from Longmont, Colorado, and I'm here seeking $200,000 in exchange for 10% of my family's business, Honey Bunchies. Sharks, buckle up for a true Top Gun story with a tough-as-nails fighter pilot and an unstoppable love for his sweetheart. When my dad was an F-4 Phantom fighter pilot in Vietnam, he got by on candy bars and cola. He became hyperglycemic and nearly diabetic, which, of course, doesn't fly when you're a fighter pilot. That's why my mom created a honey-based snack that not only tasted great, but gave him a healthy source of energy. Fast forward 35 years, and Dad mm. tried to recreate Mom's recipe, but sharks, he did not get it right. He actually made something better. Dad managed to create a bar that is completely unique to the energy bar market. 42% of every Honey Bunchies Gourmet Honey Bar is pure honey, mixed with crunchy nuts and covered in lightly salted and roasted sunflower kernels. It's the perfect honey-packed energy boost that's gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. And our coconut almond bar is peanut-free and Mr. Cuban dairy-free. Oh, yeah. We're changing the stale, boring world of bars. So, sharks, let me ask you, who's ready to suit up and get on the flight line with Honey Bunchy's Gourmet Honey Bars? <laughs> Good job. Great nice. job. And if you don't mind, this is actually my dad's aviator jacket, oh, but it's cool. really hot. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Can we try them? Oh, please do. Good. Please do. Wow. Honey is truly coconut the almond main is good. ingredient. Thank you. Wow. It's really, really, really good. That coconut almond is good. Mm, so yummy and delicious. Not These too sweet. are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> They're really good. And yeah, you know really what? Good. My dad actually named the bar after my mom, who he calls Honey Bunchy. And they would have liked to have been here with us today. But uh, because of my dad's PTSD, they couldn't come. So what year did your father start the company? So he started the company in 2010, um, but he had no background in food and beverage. So the first three years was just building the foundation. But we started retailing in 2013. Our first major retailer was Whole Foods. We're in a total of 1,200 doors now. Good for you. We're in Whole Foods Rocky Mountain region. We're in the Kroger Banner King Supers and City Market in Colorado. Um, we're in natural grocers, about 19 different states. We actually do really well in non-grocery as well. So we have a lot of independent shops all over the country. What does it cost to make what, and what do you yeah. sell them at? Our retail is $2.99. Yeah. It costs us 81 cents to produce a bar. What are your sales? Year to date, we are at 300K. We expect to end this year at 519,000. And what will you make on that 519? Uh, we estimate about 22K. But what's really exciting is that next year we're projecting 2.2 to 4.2 million. What? Such a large jump. What's going to happen? It is a large jump, and there are five reasons for that large jump. <laughs> not okay. six. Not Let's six. Hear five. five. Seven Eleven. Okay. okay. Number two, three nationwide distributors. Okay. Number three, a national retailer that sells by the box, not by the bar. Number four is the anticipated growth that we're expecting online because of the billboard the first three are going to create. Number five is our private label client who is partly owned by two world-known athletes. So these aren't guaranteed purchase orders, That's you're just in dialogue with them, right? Actually, 7-Eleven is happening. Okay. Is a purchase order in hand? And that's it half is, of the As close estimate? as you're going to get to a purchase order in hand. It is the opportunity to sell into all 8,500 stores at the 7-Eleven annual trade show in February. So Do you have that order, though? They had a, a 
uh, application process with 700 applicants for their Brands with Heart program, which they are using to support emerging brands such as ours. We were in the top 1% to be offered a free booth at their annual trade show to sell into 8,500 stores. So that is happening. We are going to the so trade show. So they're not guaranteeing you any, any sales to any of the franchisees or corporate owned, right? Not guaranteed, but uh, come on. Oh, so <laughs> you mean, know I mean, how to sell. You still have to convince store by store, region yes. by region to take on the SKU? I don't think it'll be that difficult. We'll be at a trade show. All of them oh, will be there I in felt, two days. I felt that way many times in life. I want to understand it. They've approved the product. It's now your job to sell it into the regions. They've approved the product. We're already in 14 7-Eleven stores, and we have proof of concept. We know it sells there. Kendra, so look, great product. I loved it. They tasted amazing, but the energy bar slash candy bar business is brutally competitive and you're able to run profitably put 22k to the bottom line and continue to scale it and i know you want to accelerate that because that's what we do put gas on the fire but it'll take so much to get to a point where there's a return for me i just don't see it so for those reasons i'm out kendra your parents story fabulous i i'm not personally a big fan of honey and that's just my thing, most of the world is. But I have to love what I invest in. It's just not right for me, so I'm sorry, I'm out. You're such an optimist. That's what makes you a great salesperson. It's your biggest liability, too. You're projecting $2.2 million in sales next year. Of course, you're feeling optimistic that you'll get them, and I hope you do. Uh, but you don't invest on someone's optimism. You like to see the fact that I wouldn't be as far as I am if I were only an optimist. We've no, you're been not. in business. You're a very for... hard worker and an optimist, but in projecting out, optimists tend to overestimate. So because I don't have that belief in the numbers as much as you do, I am out. Okay. Thank you. Family businesses are often tough for an investor. Often I, I find it challenging to come in and disrupt whatever is going on, so I'm out. Uh, Kendra, the amount of work ahead of you is unbelievable. Yeah. But you know what? Like, We're a hard working I, team. I believe you. I believe you. But, you know, you don't know what you don't know yet. But you can tell us what we don't know if that is necessary. We have stretched our own personal money all this way. I, I respect that. But to take on an investor, with a valuation that's completely insane at this point. Well, then point. make me an offer no, that the, fits the, the valuation I, that you're interested in. No, no, I just, it, it's... Oh. This is everything. <laughs> it's, uh, it's everything. <laughs> we have put it on the line. And we've been through a lot of hard times. I mean, <laughs> we took a huge hit during COVID and we pushed through and we got through it. I don't know how. I mean, it was hard work, a lot of tears and fighting, but we did it. I know we have something special and I hear it every day. People email us and beg us to never go away. If you go and look at any of our reviews, we're five star rated. Our heart's completely into this. Kendrick, the road of entrepreneurship is not a destination, it's a journey. It is full of heartbreak for everybody. I, I gotta tell you, I don't make emotional decisions when I invest. I make pragmatic, factual decisions because I have to deal with what's put in front of me. I can't take this journey with you. I'm out. I think you might regret it. I, I hope think we do. I, I hope we do. I hope I do. We wish you nothing but success. Thanks, Thanks Kendra. Thank All you, the best. Thank, Thank you. Good luck. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I'm a little bummed, but it's okay. There's always a silver lining. Always. So I guess that's my optimist side. Um, but it's gotten us this far, and we'll keep going. There's no question. It's very hard to say no 
I thought somebody was going to cave and say yes, and I was afraid it was going to be me. It's very hard to say. The optimism, as you said, Barbara, is challenging, because everything she said she didn't actually technically have. Well, she believed it, no doubt.